Hi. <laughs> and I'm a contemporary multimedia artist and designer. Okay, as an early inspiration in my art, I've always been inspired by life and nature and what it means to be alive and live with a full one. Um, so my first love of art came from when I was quite young. Sadly, my dad passed away when I was five and I used it as an outlet to kind of help deal with grief and kind of work through that time. So nature has always played a huge role in my artwork as I'm from Derbyshire. So as you can imagine, the Peak District is very green with lots of grass, trees, mountains, and hard place to walk around if you've not got your boots on. Um, but it's a lovely place to be from and it does inspire me on a daily basis. I'm also really inspired by kind of just life itself and um, if you know me I'm, I'm quite prone to the odd adrenaline rush uh, wherever I may find that um, but I love travelling and trying new things I'll try anything once um, so to speak apart from I will not go caving because I do not like tight spaces it's a dick um, but no I love life and anything that kind of promotes that sense of adventure and kind of experiencing new things is something that I really like to explore throughout my work. I also love to create a sense of life and movement in my paintings and the artwork that I create as I think life is a beautiful kind of circle um, and that symbiotic connection of both spiritual connections and biological connections are something that I really like to explore in my work. I'm very interested in attention restoration theory, which is where the thought and the knowledge of being out in nature really helps your mind to just sit back and relax, and it's something I looked at for my dissertation and um, through using ephemeral art, which is something that was really interesting. I got loads of people, of friends and family, to come and create a piece of ephemeral art, which is art that's made from stuff that kind of can decay or blow away, mostly from like leaves and sticks and water and stuff, um, and invited them to create a bit of artwork that they wanted to be produced into a beautiful um, digital animation, which would be in an immersive space where you could kind of taste a bit of the outside, but in any space or place that you wanted to. I think the reason I love the idea of ephemeral art so much is the kind of unpredictability of it and from that comes these digital animations that you have no idea what they're going to look like as the ephemeral art is just a beautiful kind of expression of the unpredictability of nature and that is something that I love to explore in my work is the predictable unpredictability of the natural world. So I've always seen art as kind of a source of escapism and I love to evoke the idea of like connecting to the planet and reconnecting back to the planet as I feel like it's something that us as human beings have lost throughout kind of our time on the planet and I think it'd be just a really beautiful thing if everyone had a little or small can like slowly start to, to reconnect to back where, to where we came from. <laughs> Throughout my current project, I'm looking at how nature heals us and how in turn we can heal nature. Um, I think kind of reiterating this idea of like biological connections and spiritual connections um, can really help us in the future to kind of preserve nature more. So in that sense, if nature's healing us and looking after us, we need to cherish and heal the natural world. Um, through looking at how nature heals us, I have been looking into the language of flowers and what different flowers mean and how kind of using those flowers and what they mean spiritually kind of also connects to what they mean and how they can help us biologically.
I always aim to have a very good sense of joy and happiness in everything that I do. Um, because most of my work is nature based and I'm looking at how when plants decay what they give back to the planet and when human bodies decay what they give back to the planet, it can be a little bit of a touchy subject or a little bit of a taboo subject talking about kind of what happens to us after we pass on. Um, but that's why I think I like to create quite light-hearted kind of dramatic pieces um, to kind of really make you think about what happens to us and what happens to the planet. And so when it comes to my process, I love to create anything with eco-friendly materials or found objects and materials or thrifted fabrics and materials that I can find um, as I love to give those things like a sense of new life. Uh, when it comes to actually creating my artwork, when it's not raining outside, because you know, this is England, it's, it's always raining, and um, when it's sunny outside, I love to go out, sit out, and like have all my materials and fabrics and see what comes to me. Um, as I just feel like being outside and creating artwork creates kind of a bond and strengthens that bond between me and the natural world. Um, so, to sum up my practice, it just Genuinely, to put it simply, is I just am inspired by the daily life and the natural world and everything it has to offer. As I'm sure many of us have learnt through our lives, life is too short to not kind of appreciate the beauty and the simple things, uh, which is something that plays a big role in my work. And it's something I cannot wait to continue to explore on my journey of becoming and continuing to be a contemporary multimedia artist and designer. Thank you very much for listening.